Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of Arc. A for Arc, B for Basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics. I'm Flinger Foo, and today we're not going to be discussing the dinosaurs. Well, we are going to be a little bit. We're going to be discussing some of the best ones for the different caves. We're going to be discussing the caves on the island map and which order you should be doing them and just the gear that you're going to need for the um, caves because um, each cave is kind of different. Some of them are really close to the same, but... Yeah, um, we're gonna be discussing, you know, all the little nooks and crannies, the ins and outs, the bits and bobs, all sorts of little things that you need to have for the cave, and, uh, yeah, in order to get through it and, uh, beat their butt, because some of them are extremely simple. Some of them you can kind of walk through with just a pike if you really wanted to. Some of them you have to do a lot of work just to be able to get inside of the cave. Yeah. I'm not joking. All right, but hey, uh, so today we're going to be teaming up uh, with one of the better cave dinos that we've got, uh, the Baryonyx. Matter of fact, the Baryonyx, in my opinion, is the best cave dino that you can get for the majority of the caves. Not all the caves, just the majority of them. But uh, we're going to be teaming up with uh, this guy, um, unless if I have to go grab a different one, but... Um, we're also going to be teaming up with Super Dodo. Now, Super Dodo, he he kind of gets us around to wherever we need to go. That's kind of get that's kind of gonna be his uh, role that we got. But um, one of the things that you're gonna need if um, Caves is on your menu, you need a sickle. You absolutely need a sickle, absolutely, because of what I'm going to tell you next. Uh, you need to carry fiber in your pocket at all times while you're doing caves. It's one of the requirement things, um, and it just makes things easier. I mean, you can go in with all sorts of different armor. You can go in with uh, flak armor. You can go in with tech armor. You can go in with uh, ghillie armor if you want, but why would you? Um, the only reason that you would want to go in with that stuff is really just for the looks, because, and yeah, um, Arthoplura are a thing in the caves, big time thing. So in, with that regard, the majority of what you need for inside the caves is carry some hide with you and carry some fiber with you so you can craft hide armor. Yeah. That's like just the thing. Don't worry about, um flak armor don't worry about any other armor just go with hide that's all you need bam simple set of hide and this way here so where when it gets broken when it gets damaged it will protect you you know you can just instantly repair it on the fly in your inventory it's that simple it's that effective and it provides 100 armor throughout the entire set i mean it's not a lot of armor but it's enough armor to allow you to take that first hit and then get away if you ever get dismounted from your dino or something yeah. All right. So um, with that in mind, just always carry some hide with you. Always carry some fiber with you. And yeah. Okay. So, hey, I'm going to go grab a few things out of my smithy, a few things that we need, um, and then I'll cover those um, as we get to each individual cave. All right. So, hey, I'm going to uh, grab a few things and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so here we are. We're at the very first cave. Now, this cave is the easiest cave there is on the island. This one is super simple, and this is the one that you could actually run through with just a uh, with just a pike. Um, you and a couple buddies, if you really wanted to, you could go through it with a pike, grab some uh, hide armor, and then just kind of just chill out. But also, another thing I want to uh, recommend, if you're getting serious about the caves is, hold on, let me put this on just where it's a little bit easier to see, because I'll be going in and out of first person mode. And you'll notice that um, I'm some of my pieces are, you know, uh, Apprentice, some of them are uh, Ramshackle. Uh, by this time, if you're starting to look at doing caves, then chances are you're going to have some of this stuff in your, um, just kind of accumulated. Yeah, and also, this right here is also why I hold on to these uh, higher level torches, just in case if your server doesn't allow, um, oh, uh, 
Oh, it doesn't allow gamma commands. Uh, that's one of the best things. Uh, just get a higher uh, equip torch, you know, a higher durability torch, because, I mean, the, the damage on it doesn't matter. It's the durability. When it comes around to um, ascendant torches and stuff like that, some of, I've seen some torches uh, durability up to like six, 700, and those ones are amazing, and you just repair this in your inventory. They're really handy. A lot of people go like, hey, look, I got an ascendant torch. Ha, ha, ha. I like those. I think torches are great. Um, so yeah, um, but yeah, always, always, always outside the caves when you start getting serious, uh, build a little shack, just kind of like this. It doesn't have to be big, doesn't have to be extravagant, doesn't have to be anything like that. And then put inside it, put a storage box. Inside that storage box, use your storage box to hold all your artifacts, any kind of building materials that you need, and then also put a bed. Yeah, it's that way there. If you die inside the cave, you can always just respawn right outside the cave, run inside, grab your stuff. And then get the hay out of there. All right, but um, for this cave right here, um, the best dino for this cave, it's a Baryonyx. You're gonna hear that a lot today. The best cave for this, um, the best dino for this cave is the Baryonyx. Now this right here is the uh, first cave that I would recommend doing, and I will show that on the map right here. It's way down there. Bam! This is the first cave. This one right here yields the artifact of. Here, let me pop it up right here. I've got quite a few of them. The Artifact of the Hunter. Pretty cool. All right, so hey, let's head over to the next cave. Because the next cave, it's where it starts getting a little bit tougher. All right, right here, now we have the next cave. Up you down, let's just stack you right up here on top of this. Not like that. But you want, on this one right here, you want to make sure that your dino is in a spot where it's not gonna get ganked while you're inside the cave. All right, but this cave right here, this one right here, this is the Chitin Cave. This one right here, if you want to harvest a whole ton of uh, chitin, this is where you go. Right here. You'll notice that the volcano is right there, and right over there is uh, a metal mountain, where you can just go harvest a whole bunch of metal. Now, this cave right here, um, the recommended dino for this, the best dino for this cave, you guessed it, the Baryonyx. Yeah, and then this one right here, uh, it's there's a bunch of Arthoplores in there, there's a bunch of bats, everything like that. And then this one right here yields the Artifact of the Clever. Now, nothing, you don't need any really special gear or anything like that. Just the Baryonyx uh, and some Hide Armor because there are Arthoplur in there. So just be wary of that. Yeah. Okay, so moving on to the next one. All right, now this cave right here, this one is where it starts getting a little bit trickier. It starts getting a little bit tougher. And once again, the best um, dino for uh, this cave... Baryonyx. All right, but now let's get in like this and let's go up like this. Now, I would actually cover in this video how to get all the artifacts, but if I did that, then the video would be super long and I don't want it to be super long. I'm going to provide links to on how to get all the artifacts down below because um, I've already run all these caves multiple, multiple times in different videos and yeah, each one of these has a little bit of kind of flair that needs to be done with it. Well, most of them, not all of them. But each one has a little individual challenge that you need to overcome. Okay, so for this cave right here, once again, Baryonyx, best uh, dino for it. Now, at one point in time, and they do keep kind of changing it. Well, I'm still in K-mode. Get out of K-mode. All right, so um, this um, cave right here, they do keep kind of uh, oh changing it every once in a while. Is they will, there's a spot in here that will, every once in a while, get kind of bugged out. Right, now as you get down inside here, you just cruise down underneath here, and there's this little tiny opening. Now, I've already been in here. I already cleared it, so it would be a little bit easier for me to uh, get in and do this. But the, see how the uh, cliff edge, or the, how the cave wall is kind of brought in on itself? Uh, this spot right up here is the little slip-through spot right here now they keep widening this and then shortening this so where sometimes you can get um bigger dinos through it sometimes you can't right now it's actually uh, i think this might be the end the way that they did it but baryonyx slips through here just fine just quite easily that means baryonyx is the best one now this one right here is also has a whole bunch of underwater stuff which baryonyx just really excels at and, like I said, I'm not going to get through there. I'm not going to run all the way through each cave, or else it'd take me forever. 
and I don't want to uh, have to take up too much of everybody's time. I'll just leave links down below for all the, uh, how to get all the, um, how to get all the artifacts out of the caves, where if you're interested in that particular one, you can just uh, quickly go down below, click the link, and then bam, there you go. That's how I went in and got all the um, artifacts for that one. Now this artifact right here, here, let me show you. I have it right in here, at least I should. Yep, right there, bam, artifact of the pack. Okay, and this one right here, this cave right here, um, you can either do it just simply on a Baryonyx, but uh, if you do that, you might want to bring an otter on your shoulder because um, you have to go through water if you do it on just the dino. And the water, it, it gets really cold down there. And unless you have really high fortitude or really good hide armor, then you might start taking some damage from that really cold water. Or you can also use a crossbow or a grappling hook to uh, latch onto a certain spot, hoist yourself up, grab the artifact, jump back down in the prana infested waters, get back on your baryonyx, and it's all easy. It's all good. All right. So, hey, um, yeah, this um, cave right here is actually where it starts getting a little bit tougher. And then did I show this button on the map? Right there. Bam. All right. So, hey, let's get over to the next one. Okay. Now, this next cave, it might be a little bit more challenging. As the last one was a little bit step up from the Chitin Cave, this one right here is a massive step up. And not because of the creatures inside it, but because of the... The environmental dangers. There is lava in this cave. There is a ton of lava in this cave. And there's things that you have to jump over. Yeah, or to avoid said lava. Now, if you fall inside that lava, you're dead. It's just as simple as that. You are dead. Um, but there's also a bunch of uh, cliffs that you have to jump across in order to... Uh... Seriously? Seriously? You've got to be joking. And apparently there's T-Rexes here that come down and start fighting Brontos right on my face. Here, Super Dodo, just kick this Rex's butt. Come on, dude. Thank you. That's what you get, man. Now, are you going to take off, Bronto? You can let me finish my episode? Yeah? If you come back, Super Dodo's going to kick your butt, man. All right, but this uh, cave right here, this is the cave of the massive. Now, also, you might want to uh, um, take note that the hide armor, uh, you might have to start stripping it off in layers um, as you come down inside of here. Because, yeah, right there, it gets it starts getting super hot. So you just start stripping it off. Yeah, that right there, you get it down to the hot. Make sure you have extra canteens with you. Well, let's get back to gamma four, bam. Uh, make sure you have extra canteens with you. Make sure that you've got extra food, water, everything like that. Because there are places in here where you're going to overheat. You're going to get really hot. You're going to start taking damage. And you're definitely, definitely... Super Dodo, just get him. I don't even want to mess with him. Just kick that Thronto's butt. All right. Um, but yeah, this um, cave right here is pretty tough. It can get really tough. Especially if you uh, uh, decide that you're going to run and jump across the... Uh, um, Oh, the ledges for the lava. Don't do that. Don't run and jump across it. Just get to the edge of it and just press forward and jump. Yeah, that way there you have a more controlled jump. i show you how to do it in the video where I did it. Super Dodo, get down here. We gotta go. Come on. Super Dodo. Down here. All right. Now this, uh, um, this, um, oh, this cave right here, this one yields the artifact of the massive. Oh, and I left my door open. I don't even know if I have any extra. Yeah, right there. Bam. Artifact of the Massive. All right. So, yeah. Let's uh, get over to the next one. Because the next one is where things get a little bit more challenging. Yeah. All right. Now, this cave right here. This is the next one on the list. And the next one that you should be doing in order. Now, this cave right here. Um, you, I brought the dinos here. But you can't even bring dinos inside this cave. They just will not fit. Um... Now, it's not super cold up here, unless it is, but yeah, I say that because, yeah, this sometimes it, it gets kind of chilly up here. But also, I don't normally use uh, the standard block for uh, going in, getting the uh, artifact, you know, with the bed and everything like that. I just use sleeping bags down here. It's just so much easier, and then that way there, it, it's just easier to get in there. But inside this cave, you have to duck down, which means that... 
no dinos are allowed to go in here. Now you can come in here with uh, say like a long neck or something of the sort. I would recommend when you come in here, just grab a shotgun. Serious, you can bring in a tech rifle, you can bring in a assault rifle, just grab a shotgun. It's so much easier. All right, and we're back. Now we're at the next cave. Now this is the next one uh, after the cave of the Sky Lord. Now this one right here, this one takes a big jump in difficulty. I mean, you thought we were moving up uh, really fast in the levels of difficulty from before. Now we're really moving up. All right, so now um, what you need to do, the best dino for this one is of course the Baryonyx, just like most every other ones. But um, this one right here, uh, you have to have a, a combination of scuba gear and ghillie gear. Let me get this up with Gamma 4. All right, now, here, let me show you. You actually have to... Here, let me pop on the Baryonyx real quick so where we can get inside of here. And you have to go... This one right here has toxic air. Let me preface that. So now what we have to do, we have to go with uh, scuba tank... Scuba gloves, uh, scuba foot gear, ghillie, I mean, not, not, not scuba gloves, scuba, um, fins, all right, with, uh, ghillie pants and ghillie gloves, and that way there will make it so where when you pass this threshold right here, you don't take any damage, because normally, here, let me show you, if we pop off just one piece of this, we start taking damage. And it's, it's quite a bit of damage. See right there, three points per tick. Yeah, and this right here is the combination to, uh, um, it's the magical combination of stuff so where you can get inside of here. Now with this, I would make sure that if you go inside that cave, bring a couple scuba tanks. You're gonna need them. All right, uh, bring, uh, bring several suits of armor for everything. Because this right here, it actually gets pretty dang tough in there. Oh so, yeah. All right, let's put all this stuff back on. All right, and this right here, this swamp cave is located right there. Right here in the middle of the Redwoods, right in the middle of Thylacolio country. Yeah, it, it, this one's a bit challenging. All right, so hey, now we're gonna head to one where the Baryonyx is not the favorite dino. I know, right? It's been a while. All right, so hey, uh, let me go grab the best dino for that one, and I will show you guys, I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, coming into this next cave. Now, I always park my flyer over here, way over here on the other side. Either that or I'll take a raft over. Sometimes you can actually take a thylacolio and you can just, uh, you can swim it if you really, really wanted to. But just know there are alphas in there, alpha megalodons. But uh, anything around your uh, Argent or whatever flyer you bring over, just take it. Yeah, just kill them. Now, this one right here is actually called the Carno Island. And this one right here, it does get pretty challenging. Um, the whole challenge for this one is the verticality of the cave. If you fall down the cave, you're gonna die, unless if you're on a thylacolio. A thylacolio can take the fall without a problem. You can jump right down the very middle of it. And here, let me get over to the cave entrance. There's some pretty cool looking Argents out here. Oh, holy crap, that is a nice looking Argent. All right. Okay, but right here, this is the entrance to this cave, way up here in the very northeast. Now, when you come inside this cave, um, the entrance is kind of hard to find, actually. Um, here, let me gamma it. Bam. All right, all you do is come down inside here, and you see this little water puddle right here. Um, you sink down here inside of the water, and you dip underneath this and just look right up to your right, and there's this little spot right here that comes up, and this is the entrance to the cave. Now also, keep in mind, with this cave, you do have little creepy crawlies that creep on the ceiling, right there. Yeah, <laughs> there's a megalar uh, megalania right up there waiting to pounce. All right, so hey, let's get over to the next one. The only reason why I classified this one a little bit harder than the, uh, um, come on, get up there, get up there, good. Thank you. Um, but yeah, the only reason why I classified this one a little bit harder than the, uh, um, oh, then the Swamp Cave is because of, yeah, you need to have a Thylacolio then. And Thylacolio is a little bit harder to find than a Baryonyx. So, yeah. I mean, while you can do it with, say, a Sabertooth or um, a Direwolf in there, you can actually even take in a Baryonyx inside that cave. It's just not the best one for it. Okay, so, hey, now, uh, now, after... 
after we've done most of the caves, we haven't done all the caves, the entrances and which order in which you should do them, um, for the uh, land parts of the island, now we're going to start heading over to underwater. Because there's two underwater caves, one of them a little bit harder than the other, actually one a lot harder than the other. But the underwater caves, they're no joke. And for those ones, um, while you can take in a Baryonyx for those, I would thoroughly not recommend taking in a Baryonyx for those caves. Um, yeah, for those ones right there, you need a totally different style of dino. Because inside of there, there is Snyderia, there is eels, all sorts of stuff. So, let's go over to our water pen and let's go grab our uh, favorite dude for those. Alright, at this point in the... Uh, in the cave game, you need to start putting away the hide armor. From this point on, we no longer need hide armor. Hide armor is no longer the recommended one that you want. I would recommend tech armor for this stuff. Uh, now, the only reason why I recommend tech armor for this stuff is because tech armor actually works as a scuba tank. If you don't have tech armor, then I would recommend that you go with uh, get your best scuba tank, get out your scuba flippers, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, and then, so where we can start heading off into that. Now, for this next little bit, uh, you don't, I mean, while we do have a Tecmos, and a Tecmos is really good, it's not the best one for the underwater caves. A good Basilosaurus is the best dino for the underwater caves. Um, it will, now, see, the Tecmos, it's good, but it still has problems with, uh, being uh, dismounting the rider whenever it gets shocked by the night area or the snide area the jellyfish down inside the caves and there is a lot of them down there um a basilosaurus you never have to worry about that a basilosaurus you are completely insulated against the eels against the night area against all that stuff so put away the mosa for a little bit grab the basilosaurus and let's get down to the caves all right, here we are right above the entrance to this uh, first underwater cave. Now, this place right here, it gets pretty dangerous. Uh, yeah, there's plessies and stuff down here. Lots of plessies. There's Tussos right outside of the uh, um, cave. There's Megalodons. There's Alpha Megalodons. There's Alpha Tussos. There's all sorts of um, stuff. Just know that when you're on your uh, Basilosaurus getting inside the cave, y yeah, you'll take a little bit of damage from coming down inside. But... Uh, once you uh, skirt past that, you won't take any damage, and then you'll just be able to raise up inside of the cave without taking too much damage. It's actually, it, it's it's pretty easy. It may be a little intimidating once you go down inside there, but just realize that, yeah, once you pass down through the entrance to the cave, you're not going to take any damage. Uh, just try not to um, scoot along the bottom. All right, and let's get back outside, and I'll show you exactly where the entrance to the, um, this is. I just have to gank this Megalodon right fast. There you go. Suck it, dude. All right. All right, let's get down here, and we're going to start taking a little bit of damage because we're down on the bottom. And then we'll just go straight up here really quick. This is also the benefit of the, uh, the bass low is that they can actually do that. Not everything in the water can do that. All right, now right here, this right here is the entrance to the uh, um, oh, the very first underwater cave. And also another reason why I recommend people take tech armor underneath the uh, oh the ocean is because see how it is like this? Yeah, it's and then here, let me pop this helmet off, and we're gonna start drowning here for a sec. Right? When you zoom in like this, it's still real murky. You can barely see. You can drown. But as soon as you put this helmet on, as long as you have element inside the helmet, bam! You can see clearly underwater. It is wicked cool. It's better than uh, the scuba mask. It's better than just about anything. Yeah, there's, there's mods that can get this close, but tech armor will do it just as well. It, it's amazing. Tech armor underwater. It's, it's the best way of doing it. Right. Um, just know that these, uh, caves down there, they're no joke. Um, I, when I go down there, normally, yeah, you can take down a regular Basilosaurus, but I would recommend taking down a fully imprinted, raised up Basilosaurus. It's easier, it's more effective, and is that an alpha shark right there? That is an alpha shark. Alright, so hey, we're gonna try to scoot past him, maybe aggro him on this lead sickness while he tries to aggro us. And yeah, alright, so let's get over to the next cave, because the next one is underwater as well. All right, now this next cave, uh, while the last one was pretty tough, this one ramps it up to 11. This one is much, much harder, but it's not nearly as deep. 
Um, all you do is come right down here, right here. Let me punch it up on the map. Bam, way over there. While the one is on the exact opposite side of the uh, island, this one is on this side. Um, right over the edge of the swamp, actually. Um, if you find the swamp, you can come down, dip down, go under, enter the cave. Just kind of circle your way through like that. Yeah, you'll start taking a little bit of damage on your uh, Basilosaurus, but it's not going to be that much. But in this cave right here, um, one of the biggest words of warning I can give you is pay very close attention to uh, where you're fighting. Because there are a ton of Dunkleos, Dunkleostruses in there that will, once you aggro them, they will just not stop. They are unrelenting. They will just eat you and eat you and eat you until there is no more left to eat you. And they will block you in and they will make you have a bad day. And it's just really, really bad. So make sure you uh, don't aggro the Dunkleos in there. Or else, yeah. <laughs> and also, uh, they, there could be Alphas in there. Alpha Tusos and Alpha um, Moses, which are, they're tough. They're, they're not a joke at all. Those guys will kick your butt right quick. But yeah, this this cave right here is actually um, tough enough for me to want to put a, uh, a bed and everything like that right there. Just with an additional baryonyx right next to it so I can run down and then grab um, my underwater dino if I accidentally die in there. It, it has happened from time to time. Yeah, that one's a bit tough. All right, so hey, now, let's, now that we've got all these covered, there's only one cave left that we need to talk about. And that one right there is the toughest cave in art. It is the one that you want to save for the last. It, it, it it's wicked tough. And I, no, I'm not counting the uh, oh the tech cave because that cave right there that's an end game fight. The entire thing it is just for end game fights. So we're just talking about the ones that yield artifacts. The tech cave does not yield artifacts, so we're not going to be including that one. But technically, that one is after this next cave. All right, so hey. Let me get back to the water pen, let me grab Super Dodo, and then we're going to head over and uh, we're going to go to the last and final cave, the one that always seems to kick my butt. Alright, and here you have it. The most difficult cave on the island. This one right here is so tough, it kicks my butt all the time. And before the uh, inclusion of um, Extinction Expansion, it made this one so, so much more difficult because... See all this? Yeah, I actually had to raise up and imprint Allosauruses just to bring them inside of here in order to do this cave solo. This cave right here kicks my butt on a routine basis. Yeah, you'll notice there's wolves inside of here, all sorts of tough stuff inside of here. I'm not even sure if my dinos are still in here. There they are, there's some bears. Let me get out of here right quick. But yeah, I saw some of my dinos. My dinos might have died in there. Holy crap. Wow, yeah. Um, inside there, before, you actually had to clear the area with a shotgun, with grenades, with rocket launchers, just so where you had enough time to get in there, get um, your Allosaurus raised up, and then kick their butt. Yeah, and then go through the cave with just Allosaurus. It... Yeah, and, but now that you actually have access to Pokeballs, well, the Cryo Orbs, um, then it, it, it's not as hard. You can just grab a Cryo Orb, throw a couple Allosaurus in a couple of them, go inside there, throw them down, and then everything can be, uh, yeah, Bob's your uncle. All right, but yeah, now, right up here, this is where this cave is located. And while I will admit that with the invention of the Cryo Orb, then this cave got a little bit less difficult, it is still the most difficult in there. Um, you have to have not just regular um, fur armor, you have to have increased um, oh, effectiveness um, fur armor. You have to have, I would say, I wouldn't go in there with less than a full suit of at least journeyman uh, fur armor and an otter on my shoulders just so where you don't freeze to death in certain spots. It gets that cold. Plus, there's also Perlovia in there that'll knock you off your dinosaurs. It, it's, it's not good. It's bad. It's tough. And this is called the Cave of the Strong. Yeah, for a reason. All right. So, hey, that's going to do it for this episode. Now, um, yeah, hey, if you liked the video, if it helped you out, if it helped you uh, decide which order you want to do the caves in, I appreciate, I mean, just give me a thumbs up down below. I really appreciate that. And if you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo. And take it easy, everybody. And just know, 
When you're ready to go into the caves, you'll know it. You'll know it.